that we've been waiting way too long for this implementation. Yep. We had a sister come up today who was uh, part of SEIU, who was part of the coalition that passed this ordinance. And, you know, we put in so much work to get this ordinance passed. Residents stood up, residents testified, experts testified, we worked directly with the city council, and the city council passed this ordinance unanimously, unanimous, unanimously passed this ordinance. And yet Mayor Sarno has waited more than two years to implement this ordinance, and we feel that that is unacceptable. So we're here refusing to continue to be quiet. We've expressed our support for helping with implementation from day one. We will continue to express that support, but we will not sit by quietly if the city does not move to implement these ordinances immediately. It's just something we can't tolerate anymore. It's time that we stand up for Springfield. And by the way, there have been other uh, communities around the nation who have taken our ordinance almost verbatim, and they That's are right. enforcing it. And he's not, and we're the ones that started it. This doesn't seem right. When other ones have said, hey, that's a good idea. We took it to court. It <coughs> passed the court test, the legal test. It can be done, so why isn't he doing it? The 25.3 million that he has refused to go after could have saved libraries, could have saved trash fees not going up, could have saved homes. Let's go down to Quincy Street and see the damage that not making someone responsible can do to a neighborhood. And that's where I'm standing at this point is that the money's there, why not collect it? Are you afraid of the banks? Why? Other communities aren't. And they are putting forth an effort to use the ordinance we passed to get money from the banks. Does that sound right? Come on, guys, does that sound right? No! All right, then. Stay with the people! I can't hear you, Pamela. Stay with the people! Stand with the banks! Cindy, I can't hear you. Stay with the people! I'm here today because I'm getting tired of the banks and political leaders hamstringing individuals because their house is in foreclosure and no one should be living in fear each day because there are individuals out here as far as the banks and political leaders that have less than a care about what's going on. That's right. The people here have to stand together and fight against what's going on because what's going on is not fair. That's right. That's right. I've been living at 135 Santa Barbara for approximately eight years now. And because, you know, um, I don't have lots of money to keep giving Bank of America or any other entities, well, therefore, they want to file foreclosure on the property that I live in. And I'm glad to see everyone out here today because it shows support and it shows that if you stand up and believe, well, then anything is possible.
can't help. 